My name is Rick Gaeta. I'm a professor of aerospace engineering at Oklahoma State University. I started getting interested in the noise that uh, what most people call drones, we call unmanned aerial vehicles, and trying to work on the noise problem of these vehicles. What we're interested in is to ultimately understand the stress levels of wild dolphins. And the way that's done is that uh, you capture some of the uh, mucus in the blow and you're able to analyze the hormones in it. Um, so the trick is, how do you get that from a dolphin in the wild? When collecting biological samples from dolphins in the wild, it's a lot more difficult due to the fact that they are incredibly fast. When they come up for a breath, it's only for very short periods of time, and their breath does not go up as high into the air as larger cetaceans like humpback whales. And that's a very, very challenging problem. People have started to do that with drones, um, but they've found that the uh, things like the noise of the drone and maybe that even just the presence of the drone have scared uh, these dolphins and they can't grab the blow. These samples are incredibly important as they provide us with health assessments on wild bottlenose dolphins, which ultimately lends itself to greater conservation efforts. When dolphins breathe, it's quite powerful. Here at Dolphin Quest, our dolphins can voluntarily provide us with a blow sample, which we can collect in a small cup and assess um, their respiratory systems. So the goal here is to figure out how do you get to the dolphin without it uh, knowing that you're there, if you want, being very stealthy. What we're interested in is looking, as I said, sound from the air into the water. So um, we have a speaker uh, set up high above the dolphin pool that uh, can play different sounds, tones, and actual sounds of recorded drones, at di of different types of drones. We have two microphones that are above the water that measure the sound propagating through the air. Uh, and then we have two uh, hydrophones that are also recording simultaneously. We're sampling all four of those at the same time so we can correlate the underwater sound that gets to the dolphin with the sound that's propagating through the air. This is my first time here. It really affords a great test bed for us to do the basic initial work where we have a controlled environment and uh, we have dolphins that are amenable to this type of study.